Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. The other day I made a video where I showed how to download and verify a Linux Mint ISO in a Windows 10 computer. Today I'm going to show you how to download and verify an Arch Linux ISO in a Windows 10 computer. So let's get to it. So right now I'm in my main production computer. It's running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remote into a real bare metal computer that's running Windows 10. And the reason why is because my camera and my microphone is hooked up to this computer and I don't want to start switching things around. Now I've already remoted into the other computer. It's on Workspace 5 and it's not a virtual machine. It's a real bare metal computer running Windows 10. And I remoted into it using an application called Romina. And it's on Workspace 5. So I'm going to click it on. Let's click it on. And here we are. We're inside my bare metal computer that's running Windows 10. Through a remote desktop called Romina. I think I already said that, right? In order to verify a Linux ISO in a Windows computer, you have to download an application. So I'm going to open up my web browser. I already have it saved as a bookmark. It's called GNU PG. So I'm going to click it on. And it's gnupg.org. So when you land on the uh, web page, you want to go to the download. But we're already on that page. So you're going to scan down. And we're going to scan right down to here where it says Windows. And we're going to download this second one. Download SIG, simple installer for the current GNU PG. We're going to download this. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Then once you've downloaded it, you're going to go to your file manager and you're going to go to your downloads folder and you're going to click on this icon here and you're going to install it. Now I'm not going to install it because I already installed it in a previous video. And if I remember correctly, I don't think you're going to have to reboot your computer but uh, I can't really remember, so I might be wrong. But it's going to tell you if you need to reboot it. Like I said, you're going to click this on and install it. Once that's installed, then you're going to go back to your web browser. And you're going to go to Arch Linux. And I already have that saved as a bookmark as well. And then you're going to go to download. You're going to click on download. And we're downloading the February 1st ISO. Right here, okay? So now I'm going to scan right down to the mirrors and they have mirrors all over the whole world. So I'm going to scan right to the bottom where the United States mirrors are. Here we are, United States. And this constant mirror is a mirror that I use all the time. And it's a fast mirror, always up to date. So I'm going to click it on. It's a good mirror. And now you have all these ISOs. Now they're all, you can see from February the 1st. I'm going to download the first ISO. Now, well, let's do it. So I'm going to click it on and download it, and it's downloading. And it's only going to take uh, half a minute, <laughs> if that. You can see it's downloading pretty fast, right? Now, they also have here the signature, because we're going to verify the signature. And they also have the SHA, this very last one at the bottom, the SHA-256 sum text. So we're going to verify the signature and the sum text. Now, it's recommended that you even though you're downloading the ISO from the external mirror, it's recommended that you do not download the signature or the SHA-256 text from the mirror, the external mirror, because it could be uh, hampered with it. Maybe it's been modified. Now we can see our ISO is already downloaded. That was fast, eh? Because this ISO is only 1.2 gigabytes. So like I was saying, it's recommended that even though we're downloading the ISO from the external mirror, it's recommended that you do not download the signature or the SHA-256 sum text from the external mirror, but you download the signature and the SHA-256 sum text from the Arch Linux website itself rather than the external mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I think I over explained that, didn't I? I'm going to go up to the top. And I'm going to scan down. Now, so we have our ISO downloaded now. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to download the signature directly from the Arch Linux website and not from the external mirror where I downloaded the ISO. I'm going to click it on. And there it's downloaded. Look how fast that was. Now I'm also going to download the SHA-256 sum text again 
from here from the Arch Linux website rather than the external mirror where I downloaded the ISO. I know I'm repeating myself way too much. So now when we downloaded the signature, I just clicked it on and it downloaded. But for the shot text, you don't just click it on, you have to right click it. So I'm going to hover over it, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to save link as, and I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to go back to my file manager. And we can see in the downloads folder, we have the three files. We have the ISO, the signature, and the SHA-256 sum text. The signature verifies that the ISO was signed by one of the developers at Arch Linux. And verifying the SHA text, the SHA-256 sum text, verifying that shows that your ISO is downloaded with no problems and with its full integrity. So now what I like to do is I have a folder here called ISO. And you can see I already have a Linux Mint folder in here that I used for my previous video. And if I click it on, you can see I have the ISO and the text there for verifying it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And in this ISO folder, I'm going to make a new folder called Arch right here. <laughs> let's click it on. And let's just type in Arch. And this is really optional you really don't have to do it because you can verify the iso directly from your downloads folder but i like to be a little more organized than the average person <laughs> so i made a folder called arch so i'm going to go back to my downloads and i'm not going to copy them i'm going to cut them because uh this iso is over a gig so i don't need to have it in my system twice so i'm going to hold the control button down and i'm going to highlight Signature file, the SHA sum file, and the ISO. And I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm not even going to right click it. I'm just going to do Control X. And then I'm going to go to ISO, and I'm going to go to the Arch folder, and I'm going to do Control V to paste them in. Okay, so now they're in there. So now I'm in the Arch folder with the ISO, the signature, and the SHA text and I'm going to go out of the folder okay now I'm outside of the folder I'm going to hover over the folder I'm going to hold my shift button down now you have to remember to hold your shift button down or it won't work <laughs> okay so I'm going to hold my shift button down and right click now, while you're holding the shift button down and and you right click you're going to see here open PowerShell window here so I'm going to click on my PowerShell and I'm going to make it full screen. And there we are. And you know what? I'm going to make this larger. So I'm going to hold my control button down and move my wheel to make that larger. So now we're in the PowerShell and the PowerShell is similar to the Linux terminal, kind of. <laughs> okay. The advantage of doing it this way is that we are now in the PowerShell or in the terminal, but we're in the correct folder, right? We're in our C drive. ISO and Arch. Okay. And it's kind of like the Linux terminal. So I'm going to do an LS and there's our files. Let me move my mouse. So this is the ISO that we downloaded from the external mirror. This is the signature that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website. And this is the SHA-256 sum text that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website. So the first thing we're going to do is verify the signature. So I'm going to type in this command, gpg space dash dash key server dash options, leave a space auto dash key dash retrieve space dash dash verify space. And now I'm going to type in arch and I'm going to tab it. Now you have to remember to do this last part at the end of ISO. I'm going to put a period in there. I'm going to type in signature or sig. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm going to hit enter. And if I typed it right, it's going to verify the signature. And it takes a minute, maybe a half a minute or a minute. And there we are. We have verified the signature. So right here it says it's a good signature from Pierre Schmidt. Pierre at archlinux.org. Now this warning. The key user ID is not certified with a trusted signature. 
There is no indication that the signature belongs to the owner. This is perfectly normal and you don't have to worry about this. And just to prove it to you, well, I'm going to prove it to you from the Linux Mint website. I know, even though this is Arch Linux, I'm going to prove it to you from the Linux Mint website. So I'm going to go open up my web browser. I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to go to Linux Mint. I'm going to go to installation instructions. I'm going to go to uh, verify your ISO. And we're going to go right to the bottom. And you know what? I'm going to make this bigger so you can read it. And you know what? I'm going to just turn off my face for a second. So there's a note here. GPG might warn you that the signature is not trusted by your computer. This is expected and perfectly normal. So regardless of whether you're verifying a Linux Mint ISO signature or an Arch Linux signature, so regardless of whether you're doing it in a Windows machine like we're doing right now, or you're doing it in a Linux machine, you're going to get this message. Warning, the key user ID is not certified with a trusted signature, and there is no indication that it belongs to the owner. Just ignore it. What you're looking for is this. Good signature from Pierre Schmidt at archlinux.org. And we had the same issue when I did my video on verifying a Linux Mint ISO in my Windows 10 computer. And I explained all the same things that I'm explaining now. Okay, so the signature is good. So we know that the ISO is signed by the developers at Arch Linux and that it hasn't been tampered with. Now, we want to verify the SHA text. So you know what? What I'm going to do is clear the screen. And you can type in clear to clear the screen just like you can in uh, a Linux terminal. And you can also clear the screen by holding down the control button and hitting L, control L. But for some reason, it's not working here. <laughs> it does when I have the small font. When I have the small font and I do control L, it clears the screen. Now that I'm using this large font, it doesn't work. When I do control L to clear the screen, I get an error message. So I just clear the screen by typing in the word clear. Okay, so let's do LS again. So like I said, we verified the signature. So when we're verifying the signature, just so you know, <laughs> I want to make sure you understand that this signature file here, we downloaded this from the Arch Linux website. When we verified the signature, it pulled the signature, that command we put in there, pulled the signature off the ISO and compared it to the signature that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website and it showed that they were good, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing. This SHA text was downloaded from the Arch Linux website. But there's also a SHA text inside the ISO or on the ISO. So we're gonna pull the SHA text off the ISO and that came from the external website and we're gonna compare it to the SHA text that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website, okay? So now I'm gonna type in this command. cert util space dash hash file space and then I'm going to type in arch and I'm going to tab it. And this time I'm not going to put the period sig, S I G sig there. I'm going to leave that out. And then I'm going to leave a space. And then I'm going to put my caps on. And I'm going to type in SHA 256. So notice, and let's move my mouse, that cert, my first word is one word, cert util. And notice that the C is capitalized and the U is capitalized. And also remember that this time I didn't type in. So when we were verifying the signature and we tabbed this Arch Linux ISO, I had to type in, manually type in period SIG, SIG for signature. But this time we're not going to put it in. And also notice that this, there's a space here and the, notice that the SHA-256, the SHA is capitalized. And we're going to hit enter and hopefully it works. And it's just going to take a moment and there it is. So what's happened now, the hash file command completed successfully. 
So what it's done is it pulled this text, this thing right here, it pulled this off the ISO. Now, when I ran the command to verify the signature, the command pulled the signature off the ISO, automatically compared it with the signature that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website, compared it and said it was okay. But with the SHA text, we have to compare it manually. So the SHA text pulled the SHA file off the ISO, but it's not comparing it with this SHA text here. We have to manually compare it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in this command. Oop, I'm gonna take my caps off and I'm gonna type in note add, I'm gonna leave a space and I'm gonna type in SHA and I'm gonna tab it, okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna hit enter and it's opened up my notepad. So I'm gonna make this full screen and I'm gonna do control mouse wheel, make that nice and large. And I'm gonna delete these three last files cause we don't need them. So I'm gonna delete them. Now this SHA text is the text that we downloaded from the Arch Linux website. And now I'm gonna go back to my terminal and I'm gonna copy this. Okay, now this was the SHA text that was pulled off the ISO. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight it, which I just did. And I'm gonna do Control C for copy. Okay, so I've copied it onto the clipboard. Now I'm gonna go back to my notepad and I'm gonna move my cursor down here and I'm gonna do, click on Control V for paste. Control V and there we are. Okay, so now we can compare the number and it's easy to see that it's exactly the same. So we can see, and I'll say it again, the first line was downloaded from the Arch Linux website, and the second line was pulled off the Arch Linux ISO. And we can see that they're the same. It's perfect. So now I'm just gonna save the file. Let's save it, and let's get out of there. Let's close it. Now, once you've uh, changed the file, you can also compare it in the terminal because the notepad is blinding white light. So the cat command works in PowerShell just like it does in the Linux terminal. So you could type in cat SHA and tab it. Hit enter. And there it is. This one was downloaded from the Arch Linux website. This bottom one was pulled off the ISO. And we can compare them and see they're the same. And it's a little easier to look at. So now. We verified the SHA text, which shows that the uh, Arch Linux ISO was downloaded without any problems and with its full integrity, and that it's signed, and we also verified the signature to show that it's signed by the developer from Arch Linux. So now we're ready to go and do an installation. Now I'm just gonna close my, uh, but I'm gonna leave that for another day. <laughs> so I'm gonna close my PowerShell. I'm going to close my web browser and that's it. In this video, I showed you how to download and verify an Arch Linux ISO in a Windows 10 computer. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.